Hello there guys, Gamer 64 here, and today I am here to give you guys my first impressions slash kind of first thoughts on the first ep- well, really Power Rangers Ninja Steel as a whole, because I'm not going to make one of these for every episode, and I'm not going to make one for the end of the season, because I don't plan on watching all the episodes. So it's just going to be kind of a first impression, and just kind of what I thought of the first episode of Power Rangers Ninja Steel. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Um... It was pretty interesting. It started out well. Um, it explained how the ninja steel got onto Earth pretty well. Um, I'm sure that they'll have more of like how the giant ninja star made of ninja steel, quote unquote, um, got down to Earth. I'm sure that they'll explain that eventually. And um, like within the first few minutes, you get um, like an action scene. You get to see Aka Ninja. Or, um, Ninja Steel Red. I don't really know what they're called, like, officially, because they haven't done a roll call yet. Um, but in the first few minutes, you got to see Aka Ninja. I'm just gonna refer to them as their Japanese names. Um, yeah, in the first few minutes, you got to see him, which was cool. You got to see him fight. Um, fighting against... I'm pretty sure he's the main, like, boss, main baddie of the series. So, that's pretty cool. Um, you got to see them fight. Um... The, the fighting was pretty good. It definitely was not from Sentai because it had, like, the little kid in the background. So, it, that was pretty cool. I mean, to see Power Rangers kind of film their own, like, scenes. Because not... I'm not saying that Power Rangers copies Sentai, like, scene per scene, you know? But it's cool to see, like, Power Rangers filming more and more of their own scenes. Because, like, back in Mighty Morphin, oh my god, like, almost every episode was pure, full-on Sentai footage, you know? So, um, it's cool to see Power Rangers filming their own, like, sequences and fighting and everything. And it's pretty cool to see. At least I don't think that was from Sentai. I never watched all of Sen Shuriken, Sentai, and Ninja. So I don't know if it is from the Sentai, but I don't think it is. I highly doubt it. Um, but yeah, the action scene was good. Um, the storyline is a little wonky, um, there's kind of this game show where people, where these creatures that battle, um, try to defeat each other to try and grab a, um, ninja power star, which is basically the, um, Aka Ninja Shuriken, Ao Ninja Shuriken, um, Ki Ninja Shuriken, Shiro Ninja Shuriken, Momo, Nier, Momo Ninja Shuriken, and the Star Ninja Shuriken, um, trying to get that power and kind of give it to the Grand Overlord of the like, ship and kind of the TV show game thing. Um, it was a pretty cool story, um, not gonna lie. It was decent. Um, it kind of made sense why they would host a game show, because they would want to, um, see who's the strongest, you know? Um, back when we heard, like, teasers for Power Rangers Ninja Steel and, like, the story when it came out, I was really skeptical. It's like, okay, why are they doing a game show kind of thing, you know? Like, why are they going with a game show theme? Like, that doesn't make any sense. But now that um, the first episode is out, um, it does kind of make sense. And it makes, like... It kind of comes from a logical standpoint. Like, it would make sense that the strongest person would get the ninja power stars, you know? So, that's pretty cool. Although it is kind of weird to picture a monster henshining in... Like, oh, crap, what's their henshin? Um, Shuriken Hengen! It would be kind of weird to freaking see a monster henshin into Aka Red or something, or Aka Ninja or something like that, you know? It'd be kind of funny. But, um, yeah, the monster designs were pretty good. They looked good. Not as, like, weird and wonky as, like, Power Rangers Samurai or anything like that. But they were pretty good, um, designed. I like the monsters that are more, like, humanoid and less, like, weirdo-looking. Like, I don't know, I like humanoid creatures because I think they look more, like, threatening and just kind of more powerful, you know? So, I really like the monster designs. Um, the rangers themselves, like the actors, I like them. I honestly do. Um, the red ranger, the guy that's playing the red ranger, I'm sorry, I don't know any of the actors' names. Heck, I don't even know the characters' names, really. I mean, they didn't say many of the characters' names in the episode, now that I noticed. Um, anyways, the guy that's playing the red ranger, he did a good job, I think. There were a few times when the acting seemed a little strange or kind of, like, forced, you know? But it's the first episode. I mean, what else can you expect? I mean, they're kind of trying to get into their roles. They're trying to do a good job. And I can I can recognize that. I can appreciate that. 
Um, the, the Pink Ranger did a good job, I think. The Blue Ranger did a good job. We did catch a glimpse of the White Ranger, Sheer Ninja, um, but it didn't really show her for all that long. Um, apparently she has a husky, which her Zord, iron ironically, is a dog. I think that, I think that in this series, their, um, their Zords are, like, defined by their personality, you know? Like, the Red Ranger, his Zord is literally with him all the time. It's, I think its name was Redbot, but that's, um, Shinobi Maru. Um, the Pink Ranger likes, like, bullet trains, like, their speed and their power. That is, um, I can't remember the name. It's the, it's like the train, it's the train Zord, I guess. Um, oh, crap. The Blue Ranger, Ow Ninja, um, he has Dragomaru, which he likes dragons. He transformed into a dragon for his magic show. We haven't seen the Yellow Ranger yet, or at least I don't think so. It might be the brother, it might be the dad, I don't know. But we haven't seen the Yellow Ranger yet. Um, he has Dump Maru, so he's obviously like a construction worker, or he likes trucks, big trucks, or he likes getting dirty, or something like that. I don't know. Um, and then Shiro Ninja, of course, has the wolf for, um, the wolf Maru thingy, whose name I do not know. So, the Zords are kind of defined by their personalities, and I think it would be kind of cool to have, like, a sequence where they kind of pull their Zord out of them, except for Red Ranger, because he already has a Zord with him, which is Shinobi Maru. But, um, I would think it would be cool to, like, see them pull their Zords out of them, and kind of, like, it represents their personality or something like that. I think that would be kind of cool. But, um, the Morph... It wasn't really a full-on morph because they don't have all core five team members. The only rangers that it shows in this episode are Aka Ninja, which is red, Ao Ninja, which is blue, and then Momo Ninja, which is pink. So those were the only rangers that were shown. Key Ninja and Shiro Ninja are, well, and Star Ninja, I guess, are nowhere to be seen yet. Oh, I wonder if they're going to bring in Mido Ninja. She was in it, like, for a second in Sentai. But, uh, I'm getting off topic here. Um, yeah, you only see three out of these six rangers, which the six ranger star ninja will not come in until much later. Um, I'm sure probably around episode 10, 15-ish, around that. That's generally the time where the six ranger comes in, like, literally no matter what. So, um, I've pretty much covered all that I wanted to cover, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to, like, replay the episode and think of anything. I don't think I'm missing anything. So, guys... If you enjoyed my first thoughts on the first episode of Power Rangers Ninja Steel, then please be sure to leave a giant like, and remember to keep on gaming, stay amazing, and I will see you guys next time.